So now for a creative activity. We're going to use all the ideas from Greek and Roman mythology and objects from the Holborn Museum's collection um, to create your own mythological creature. Now, to get us going, we're going to use this activity sheet and you are going to make a top trump card for your imaginary creature. So you're going to think about what it looked like and draw a very small sketch, it could just be of the head. Think about your creature's name, any special powers it has, strength rating, fear factor. And once you've made your card, then you're going to start drawing in a bit more detail what this creature is going to look like. And you're going to use the idea of metamorphosis, of something changing from one thing into another. So it could be that your person, your human being is changing partly into another animal. And you can use also the ideas of the mythological creatures, things like satyrs. Here's a satyr. Um, and this is half human, half goat. So look, it's got goat's horns there. Or you could think about the bottom half of the satyr with its goat's legs and its little tail. So I've got lots of images around me to inspire me and I'm started already with my satyr's goat's legs here and its little tail which I'm going to make nice and furry but I'm also going to add in a human body. I'm going to, this is a, a goddess I think I'm going to, a beautiful goddess with long flowing hair and I'm going to give her a crown just like the one I've seen on this Roman um, it's a Roman emperor. I'm going to give her a crown of leaves here. But I've also noticed a siren, and sirens are females, and they often have wings, and I've added on some wings onto my goddess. And I'm going to give her a little pipe to play, because a lot of the uh, Greek um, mythological characters, particularly satyrs, they were associated with music, so I'm going to give her a pipe. So I've drawn her. I'm going to call her a Kalia because I've looked it up and I know that's a Greek name and I'm going to write it in the base. And then I'm going to use some of the colours that I've noticed on some traditional, um, this is not a real Greek pot, but it's a, it's, um, a replica. So they've made it look like a very ancient Greek pot. And if you look at these, the colours are all very earthy. So they're blacks and uh, browns and colours that Greek people could have made. Um, and I'm going to choose those colours, but I'm going to allow myself some green for the, the, the crown. And I'm going to put away all the colours that don't link with this. And I'm just going to go over this now because I want it to stand out. So I've drawn it in pencil first, but I'm just going to go over with my pens so that it's a bit clearer. So you could do this too. And then I'm going to put a little furry tail on and I'm going to make the goat's legs as though they're made out of fur as well there. Oh, and I mustn't forget the hooves of the goat. And I'm going to put on some of the green leaves here so you can do yours more carefully and you can also complete it. Now, once you've drawn around it and you've put your colours in, you could also add some Greek patterns if you've noticed some Greek patterns um, on some of the Wedgwood. Um, and I'm going to add some in. I'm going to do a key pattern in here um, just around her waist can't really see it but I'll just put it in there like a belt but you could add some more in as well and then once you've completed this what you're going to do is you're going to cut out just around it so I'm going to cut out the base because we want this figure to stand up so I won't go into all the detail I will go around the pipe And around her head. Make sure her wings are there. 
And the reason we're doing this is because we're going to make a little standing figure. So, there we go. So, we can take this away and here's our mythological creature. Now, it's not going to stand up at the moment, so on your activity sheet you've got a base and you're going to cut that out as well. Let's cut this out and this will be a stand so that our creature can stand up. So there it is and we're going to fold along the lines like this and this is actually card so it's a bit stronger and then we're going to get some glue and we're going to stick that onto the base. And I'll just put it in the middle bit. And then I'm going to stick this onto the middle. So hopefully, there we go. And then I'm going to press it down on the back and there we have your mythological creature and if everybody makes one you can put them all together and you will have a whole group of very interesting and hopefully very different mythological creatures that you've designed. Mm -hmm.